Good evening, this is Torstein Ren in Philly Solomon. You can see those clouds actually clearing out of the Salinas Valley as we speak. This is, of course, Sky Cam 8 from Fremont Peak. They will return later tonight, jumping over to the Monterey Bay now. We can see those clouds in the distance. They are headed our way, and it will be a cloudy night. Just wait and see. This is, of course, Santa Cruz. Still some beachgoers at this hour as the temperatures are pretty nice. Clear skies, sunny conditions, still a little bit warm, although it is 59 degrees. Wind speed around 7 miles per hour, and then the humidity 83%. Around the region right now, we are seeing temperatures similar to this. They're going to be in the 60s down the Salinas Valley, 63 in King City, 61 in Ben Lomond, and 58 closer to the bay in Monterey. But still, pretty standard temperatures for this time of year, if not a little bit warm. That being said, it was a lot a bit warmer yesterday. And if you look at the temperatures comparatively, 21 degrees cooler right now than it was yesterday in Watsonville. That's a pretty substantial cool down. 10 degrees colder, of course, in Salinas, 8 in Carmel Valley, and 13 in Hollister. So yesterday was just super warm, considering we're still warm for this time of year, and Watsonville is 20 degrees cooler. Now, the highs today across the region, as mentioned, not as hot as yesterday. We didn't quite see 80 in most of the region. Boulder Creek, actually, which is not on this map, did see 80. Outside of that, the Central Coast avoided that fate. But King City got close with 79, Big Sur 77, and Monterey 63. As for tomorrow, we expect those temperatures to go down quite a bit. You'll see these clouds move in throughout the beginning of the night, into the night, and into tomorrow morning. Those will clear out as the day goes on tomorrow for clear skies tomorrow evening into Wednesday. The reason why those clouds are headed our way is because of this cold front that you can see coming off the Pacific, hitting us right about wake up time. That's when it's going to, the, the ridge of it is going to pass us over. And then we're just gonna have cooler temperatures tomorrow compared to today. The other thing that I want to point out is that the fog tracker, we had to dust it off, it's back because we do have fog coming in tonight. You can see it really hitting us later tonight into the evening. That's going to impact our forecast, the conditions for tonight, especially if you're driving. Be aware of that fog as it comes into our region. Tonight, the temperature is really not going to be the focus. Check this out. The range from our hottest or our lowest low to our highest low is only about six degrees. There will be areas of fog, it will be cloudy, and you might actually get a shot of a drizzle or two around the region tonight, maybe a few hundredths of an inch, not rain as much as just really misty conditions. Across the area, the lows, 51 in Carmel Valley, 56 in Gilroy, and really not a lot of range in between there. That does change going into tomorrow, where some regions are gonna warm up by about 20 degrees, other regions barely gonna warm up at all. I've labeled it an impact day because it will be windy. The National Weather Service is forecasting wind speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. Now it's important to note they haven't issued a wind advisory, but still be prepared for somewhat chillier conditions going into tomorrow. The other things about that front is it will be lowering our conditions, our temperatures, excuse me, and it will be cloudy for a lot of tomorrow. So it won't really be the conditions that we saw today, almost a mirrored image. Across the area in the Bay Area, the highs are expected to reach 64 in San Jose, Six, uh, 59 in San Francisco. In the mountains of Santa Cruz, 56 and 59 in Felton, 64 though in Santa Cruz and in Aptos, 65. In Prunedale tomorrow, we're expected to reach 61 degrees, but 66 over in Hollister and 68 in Gilroy. You're really beginning to see the huge difference uh, in temperature depending on where you are. King City, the lone representative of the 70 club tomorrow, and on the Monterey coast, 56 in Monterey and 55 in Pacific Grove. Taking a look at that eight day forecast. Now we have some clouds off and on, but the really focus is going to be those windy conditions tomorrow into Wednesday, and then nighttime conditions pretty standard for the rest of the week, although you might see some clouds here and there.